Bonjour everyone. Hi, this is Neshi Wilcox. Welcome to Star Nation's organization's main fan page where we have been doing the first annual, that's what we're calling it now, Star Nation's trivia. Um, we've spent the last um, two days, yeah, New Year's Eve and today, um, playing trivia and it's all about Star Nation's. It's been fun, I have to say. I have to say. And good, happy New Year's Eve. Happy 2019. We can we said goodbye to 2018 last night, at, and I was up for that at midnight. <laughs> I was doing the last bits of work, and uh, and so happy New Year, and welcome. I am up at Star Nations Academy, which is um, about a block from my house. It's on the same property, and uh, we had snow yesterday and a bit of rain, um, and so it made uh, roads quite slick. Quite slick. Last night I couldn't even make it up the road to the, the academy. I spun out once. It was rather exciting. <laughs> but we did it last night and today it's gorgeous out there. Blue, blue skies with sunshine and it's cold, but it's uh, like 20 something degrees. It's, it's cold. And we are into round three, the final round of Star Nation's trivia. And we will. Um, I got, a, I got a surprise for you. I do. Hang on. Let me, let me do this. We're going to bring one of our show hosts up into the studio. And Connie's here with me today. Hey, Connie. Hello. <laughs> so good to have you here with me. To oh, play so with good to be here. Let me tell you. It's been so much fun, Connie, playing the trivia, asking the questions, and and watching the live. It has show. been. I've been watching. I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it, was, it was so much fun watch. And then I think, oh, yay. <laughs> and when nobody could get who the Mistress of Oz was, I said, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Cindy Lynn's here with us. She's saying Happy New Year to us. Happy Lynn. And she's specifically saying hello to you, Connie. Hello, Cindy Lynn. Yeah. So this this round, the third round of Star Nation's Trivia um, is the final round. And we do have gifts, prizes for first and third place. And we will tally those points up at the very end. Um, so we're going to play for about 50 minutes or so. Um, with a couple of breaks in between, okay? Because um, I know that way you can get up and get something to drink or, you know, go to the restroom. Or and for me to just tell you a little bit about uh, the prizes that we have for the winners. Um, <clears throat> but before we get too far along, you know, uh, what, what that was one of the trivia questions. What do we ask the audience <laughs> every show? We ask if you would please like and share the broadcast. Question to broadcast, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share it to my um, personal news feed, and just to let my friends know that I am live streaming, and that we're playing trivia. I can do that on the phone. Yeah. Play. Whoops. <laughs> Got to spell right. <laughs> Uh, I'm letting them know that we're playing Star Nation's Trivia. Round three. And please join us. Surprises. Let me have winners. Oh, you got to tear me down. I can do that on the phone. Yeah. Play. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, I have to do that. Yeah, you just have to turn the phone, the sound down or off. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I will go into settings and do that. Okay, all right. Well, I'm getting ready to start. I just have a couple of things that I want to tell you guys about. And uh, yeah, and Stephanie's here. Yay, Stephanie here. You know what? I have to say thank you again to Stephanie and to Cyrano's as well. Um, it, it, this has been um, the trivia game has been um, Stephanie's idea. She had this grand idea like months and months and months ago, um, 
And, uh, and so without her, we wouldn't have done trivia because she has gathered most, if not 90, 98.9% of all the questions and answers. Um, and Cernos is the one who developed the and created the, um, the template for the pictures where we have the, the astronomy pictures that we have the questions and answers on. And you guys, both those two, two individuals, thank you so much because you made uh, New Year's Eve really quite fun, quite fun. Yeah, and Rob Kendall's with us. Round three is a bit late, eh? <laughs> okay, either either you're from Canada this today or you're from Wisconsin because I find myself saying eh every once in a while. I say I don't have an accent, but people tell me I do. We've had um, quite a few people uh, playing, and we have two really, um, I know I was going to say tough, but that's not quite right. It's not T-O-U-G-H, it's T-U-F-F, T-U-F-F. They're very strong players um, with trivia, and uh, Ann Kuhn and, um, and Julie Shumway Hill. Let me tell you, those ladies know how to play trivia. <laughs> I was, I was telling I was telling Julie Connie that um, that the next time I pull together a team to play just regular trivia, that I'm going to be inviting her onto my team because she knows a lot of stuff. Yeah, she sure yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we have just a few rules, not many, because you know me, I like to keep things simple. Um, the simple, the simplest rule is that co-hosts, hosts contributing writers, editors, spouses of any of those people, any of the executive team at Star Nations, we are not playing. Because <laughs> it wouldn't be fair because we would because we're we're literally immersed in Star Nations a good portion of the time. And so <clears throat> that would not be fair to to our community. Um, and so you guys can be in the chat and you can be cheering on um, the players, um, and you, you know, you guys have the um, the guest link uh, to come on in if you want to pop in and say hello, just like Connie did. And Connie, you're welcome to stay through the whole thing if you like. But if you say, "Hey, you gotta run," no problem. Okay, just let me know. Okay. All right. And let's see what else. Um, each question is one point, and we do give partial points, half point to partial answers. Um, and it was quite fun last night. It's like, oh, you're so close. Just one more, you know, and one more year, that kind of thing. Um, we do have questions for tiebreakers, although we haven't had any ties. We do, and those are tough questions, those tiebreaker questions. Um, what else? We have a couple people helping to keep score. There's me. Stephanie, and I think Paul's going to be helping again this afternoon. He didn't quite say that he was he was going to be actually in the in the chat. Oh, there he is. See, I just mentioned him. He, what? How about George? <laughs> <Our> <laughs> George can't play either because George hangs out with me up here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> uh, Rob said, "Play rugby and uh, scen scenario." Ontario. Oh, so you could kind of get the accent, huh? He says rounds one and two would have been cheating for me. Maybe. Could be. I don't know. You watch a lot of our shows, Rob. You probably would have done really well. And no, George can't play either. In fact, he's probably sleeping right now. He's, <laughs> he's only five months old. He's still a baby. Okay, so get ready because we're going to get started. Okay, I'm pulling up my sleeves. We're going to have some fun. All right. So the first question, the first question, the first, qu whoops, got to go one more slide over. What store did Orchard buy her first piece of Coptic jewelry? What store did Orchard buy her first piece of Coptic jewelry? And remember, you know, um, you can guess, make guesses, because I tell you, we've had it one person win because they made a guess and got five points, and they won the third place last night. So guests are really, really good. 
And uh, we do have a little bit of a delay um, in the broadcast. There's about a 15 second delay. So, um, yeah. so we're gonna wait just a little bit. And Connie, did you, did you know um, that, that uh, Orchard had bought her first piece in a store? No, I did not know that. I do not know the answer to this question. <laughs> Rob is saying, uh, still, I had Julie with me, and she wanted to explore Lake Huron. Anyway, oh, I see. Well, good. You guys had a good time. Hot topics, yes, definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, the, I haven't seen Julie Shumway Hill come into the house yet. Hey, Terry Backus is with us. Hello, Terry. And Christine is here, too, one of my sisters. Anne has joined Ann Kuhn. Good one. All right. So I'll read the question one more time. What store did Orchard Franklin buy her first piece of Coptic jewelry? Coptic jewelry. You know, and Coptic is, um, for those who might not know, um, that is a religion. It's Christian, but it comes out of Egypt. And it's um, it's very ancient, very ancient. She bought her first piece of jewelry from this particular store. Hey, Julie's here. <laughs> I'm here just giving others a chance, okay. <laughs> You're cute. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna give it just a couple more seconds and then um, we'll start giving you some hints, okay? Gotta think of some good ones for this particular store. <clears throat> I said uh, next year what we're gonna do is gonna have interlude music. I could hum, but I'm not a very good hummer. I can't whistle. <laughs> So we're gonna have we're gonna have some uh, copyright free music playing as we wait because we have the 15 seconds that from when I read it and the audience hears it and then we have the 15 seconds coming back from the time that they write their response and I see it in the studio. All right, and Stephanie's giving a hint. She said the store was originally opened in 1878. And they were all across the United States. Oh, I think that I know. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Julie is saying Sears. Sorry, Julie. Nope. And Rob is saying Saks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, let's see. The things I remember about that particular store from where I lived in Wisconsin Dells. I think the one, the closest one to us was in Baraboo, had wooden floors that creaked when you walked. Yeah. And Stephanie is giving another hint. Blank is a great five cent store based in Utica, New York. Hmm. And Rob is saying Woolworth. And you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Rob. It is Woolworths. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> Were you? What did you, what did you think it was? <laughs> I thought it was, um, no, I can't even think of it. It starts with a W. Yeah, so, Rob, you got a point. It wasn't Woolworths. Woolworths. It wasn't Woolworths, the one that you were thinking of, huh? No. Good job, I Rob. <laughs> and I don't even know what Kresig's is. That must have been. That must be a Michigan or a Indiana. Oh yeah, it was. It, a Wool, Wool, Woolworths and Kresge's was a. I don't know. It seems to me like I just remember at one point in time they were separate because my mother used to take me to Grand Rapids mm -hmm. and I was little and yeah. she would say, "Now d don't let go of my hand." That's uh -huh. how you know. So, uh, <laughs> and then she would say, "We're going to go to Woolworths and then we're going to go to Kresge's." Uh -huh. so I don't know. It was if they were both I don't know I can't remember if we went to two stores or we went to just one. Oh well, my goodness and the Woolworth that I went to was in Baraboo Wisconsin and they had um, um, a diner there where you know it was like 
you could order sandwiches and that kind of thing. And of course, shakes and soda drinks and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, we, that was at Woolworths for okay. Kreskis, remember. Um, yeah, we did, I don't think we had a Kreskis in, um, in uh, Wisconsin. I don't think so. No, here, here the the real the 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 trivia players in the, the um, audience are giving us some more trivia. Or okay. Kreskis is Kmart, or they became Kmart. Kreskis became Kmart is Robert Rob is saying. Okay. And, um, yeah, and they're they're making sure that they they get their spelling right. <laughs> fun. Thank you guys. Thank you for for um, guessing and Rob coming up with the answer, which was Woolworth. Woolworth. Okay. Yeah. All right. Really, Julie is saying there's one on the square in Madison still. Oh my gosh. I thought they all went out of business. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We're going to go on to the next question. Next question. It is, uh, what does Ketchi Manado mean? Ketchi Manado. What does that mean? It's that's the Potawatomi language. And you've heard me say it maybe at least once a month. <laughs> Ketchi Manado. Oh, my gosh. Ketchi Manado. What does that mean? Yeah. Now, you might have to... Make some guesses on this one. What does Ketchi Manado mean? Gonna have that. We should do the Jeopardy music, right? Except that's copyrighted. <laughs> Unless I hum it. Rob is saying all my relations. Nope, 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 nope. That's that's a different one. I was gonna say it out loud, but I don't know if Stephanie has that as a question or, or not. You're thinking of a different one, Rob. Rob actually knows um, the word catchy. Catchy, that's this K T T C H E. It means large. Catchy Monado. Let's see. We're going to give it a couple more seconds here and then we'll start giving you some hints. Okay. Good, good guesses, though, Rob. Good guesses. So let me think as you guys are hopefully typing in a good guess. Um, okay, I think I got one. This, this phrase, catchy monado, is um, used when, when I'm calling in the directions. Um, I can also use it for ceremony, other kinds of ceremonies. Every nation Every people have a word that means this in their own language. And now we wait, Connie, we wait. <laughs> <laughs> now we wait. <laughs> now we wait, we give it, give it those, those few seconds. And, you know, guessing is always good. Guessing is always good. <clears throat> All right. Rob is taking another guess at it. He's saying, praise God, goddess. Hmm. Um, Julie is saying, grandfather sky. No. Yeah, I was, I was kind of... Rob is kind of close, kind of close. In fact, we're probably going to give Rob half credit for that because here's why. Here's why. It means great spirit in Potawatomi. Actually, is large or great, and Monaco is um, spirit or mystery. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to give Rob half a point for that. And Julie is saying the creator. And so we're going to, and that is actually probably closer to it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Julie a half point. And we're going to give Rob a half point for that because that was so close. And actually, um, yep, Rob, Rob is, you're, you're much closer with that great spirit. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Good job, you guys. Good job. It's hard. It's hard when it's a different language, you know. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta watch the time because I want to tell you about the prizes too. Okay. I think that we're gonna take just a short break, and I'm gonna let you know about what the prizes are. And so the first prize, the first prize for this round, is. Go to my document and scroll up. First place, first place winner is going to win, receive this bell. It's a Balinese bell. It's actually meant for outdoors. And you can actually hang it outdoors. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. This is the Balinese, it's from, uh, I'm not sorry, it's it's Thailand, not Balinese. It comes from Thailand and it is an adjustment or a um, feng shui adjustment and you can hang it outside. It's about protection. It's about protection. And it's metal, it's kind of got a uh, color to it and it does ring. So this is the first place, first place prize. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see it. How's that? And it's a little bit better. It comes from Thailand. It comes in a Thai bay. <laughs> they're, they, they're, they're, it's just a, a cotton, cotton bag um, with a lining. You've got a line in there too. So you can use the bag for something else if you'd like. And if you need um, help in um, where to hang it at your house on outside, I can help you with that. You just have to PM me, okay? Yeah. A little feng shui. I knew that I wanted to add. Um, I wanted to add a little something to the um, the prizes that was a oh, tool. You know, like a tool. Yeah. All right. So we, we're going to start with the next question. Oh, 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 good. All right. So let's go to the next question. Oh, this one's good. What is a sit spot? What is a sit spot? A sit spot. Heard it mentioned quite often on nature spirits, or not, I'm sorry, not nature spirits, but um, nature adventures. Nature adventures. The show that I that I co-host with Minnie Kansman. What is a sit spot? Okay. Rob is saying a meditation place in nature. That's correct. Absolutely correct. It's a place where you sit in nature and return to again and again. Um, it's a sit spot um, is some place that it's a, kind of like a regular place that you go to. Um, and it can be really, you know, just outside your front door, outside your back door, or you can have it just about anywhere. Um, and it really is about connecting with nature and listening, listening and just being out there, being quiet. Right? And there, there was a time I remember when I was young about going outside and just sitting on the porch and just listening. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, take a drink. <laughs> All right, this is a little German. Let's see, what does that mean, Paul? Ja, das nicht in, in Donut Bank. I know that nicked means no. 
<laughs> Paul, who speaks German, my husband. <clears throat> All right, so we, Rob has another point for the sit spot. Good job, Rob. All right, we're going to go on to the next question. Next question. What two luminaries of astrology, also considered planets, never go into retrograde motion? Ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> what two luminaries of astrology, also considered planets, never go into retrograde motion? That's a good question. And Paul, and Paul is going, it's not a donut bank. <laughs> well, it depends on what kind of donuts it is. <laughs> What's your favorite donut, Connie? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I probably think when I was a kid, they used to be glazed donuts. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Raised glazed donuts, yeah. I don't, I don't eat donuts today. I mean, I don't, that's not part of my program, but um, that's what I remember. Or one with chocolate on it. It's got chocolate on it. I like it. That's mine too. Chocolate, when I do have them, which isn't very often. Rob says sun and moon, which is correct. Jubilee said Jupiter and Saturn, which is not correct, but good get Good guess, Julie. <coughs> Sorry. Well, I wasn't for sure. I wasn't sure on this one, but I was. I got it right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the answer up. <clears throat> and I'm going to give it a solo mm -hmm. here and so that we catch this on the video. Rob Kendall, Sun and Moon, absolutely correct. Um, two luminaries that do not go retrograde. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's good. <laughs> he says it's a planned word from the song Schnitzel Bank. Now, Schnitzel, uh, you know, that's a, that's a whole different story, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so Rob gets another point. All right, here we go. Next question. What foods are good for our eyes and vision? Oh, what I know that. Food. I know. What foods are good for our eyes and vision? Uh, this is um, comes from <clears throat> um, an article that uh, Sharon Rosenblum wrote, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It comes from an article that Sharon Rosenblum wrote. So, here we go. Julie said carrots. We're going to give you partial credit for that, Julie, because it is one of the answers. It's a whole foods with deep colors like kale, beets, tomatoes, and carrots comes from the article, The Eyes Have It, from the June issue, um, 2018. Carrots. Hey, Tina's here. Hello, Tina. You're right, too, but you're just a little late. <laughs> just seconds late. And Rob said anything with vitamin A, which is kind of right, but we're actually looking for the actual words. And so we're going to give Julie a half a point for that. At least one of them, right? Yeah, good one. Yeah, and Tina's here, yay! Tina comes to the daily um, live streams that I do, and so it's nice to see you in the in the chat, Tina. And this, yeah. Tina, this is this is Connie uh, Sherwater. She is one of our um, show hosts. She's Hi, Tina. Show host for Spiritual <laughs> Mysteries of Life, which is on the last Thursday of every month at um, 10.30 Eastern. Yeah. And so Connie came, came along to, to hang out with us for the trivia. And, and, and I know she's playing because she's, she's with, oh, I think I know that one. <laughs> but but she's, she's th only thinking it. She's not writing things out. Yeah. 
No, I can't do that. <laughs> right? I know. I love playing trivia. I do. All right. So we're going to go on to the next question. Whoops. Wrong one. Go this way. Next question. What is Connie's church affiliation? And this could be past tense. What is Connie's church affiliation? She talks about it quite often in, on her show. What is Connie's church affiliation? <laughs> I'll try not to bend, oh, bend because I could see in my house what I... <laughs> <laughs> So I'll keep my body rigid here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, actually, you know, Rob, um, that was, mm, yeah, that was in Connie's younger days. This yes, it was. Approach. So it's not, that's not the answer that we're looking for, though. Good guess. Good guess. Tina is saying, Tina is saying, I listened to her before. A lot of knowledge. I know. Don't you yeah, I get to uh, produce Connie's show, so I get kind of like a front row seat, and I and I do. I I take notes. There's always some nugget that you share, um, Connie. Then I think, oh, I didn't think of it that way, or, um, you know, just to be able to to have a confirmation, right? Confirmation about something. And Julie, Julie comes in with Catholic, and that is absolutely right. That's the answer that we have. For that, and let's see. We're gonna give that a solo. Catholic. I would say today probably I'm more spiritualist than I am Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> went back to, her, to to your roots, huh? Yeah. So. Ah. Well, you know, one of the things, Connie, that um, I really appreciate on your show when you share about your time with the Catholic Church is that I think that you help us to see that particular organized religion from a different point of view, another perspective, more mystical, and um, that it was very supportive of you. Um, in yes, your, it was. In your gifts. So, yes, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good job, Julie Shumway Hill. You yeah. got that for a point. And, and um, Rob did come in, but you were just a little bit late, Rob, with Catholic. Same answer, very correct. Just a little bit late, slightly late. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got to check the time because I want to tell you about the second gift. Oops. All right. So what I want to do is share with you what is the second prize for second place, and that is. Move my cursor up. It's this one. I hope you guys like it. This is handmade. It's another medallion, beaded medallion. It's kind of a bright yellow. Beautiful. Color with pink and with a five point star pentagram. Right? It's got blue beads, kind of purplish blue beads hanging off the bottom. The chain, the necklace part is. Let's see if I can hold this up so you guys can see it. Um, it's a stitch called Daisy Chain. This is really probably the first, the first one anybody who did, learns beadwork that they learn how to do because it's it's pretty simple. It's beautiful. It is, and it's handmade. It's Native American made, so you can actually say that you have a piece. It's lined on the back. Mm -mm -mm. Now, my mother did not make this. No. Um, there, there's times when, when I was actually out there traveling and doing teaching and, um, talking to other Native Americans and that sort of thing. And sometimes what happens is that they need to, to raise money for gas money or, or something like that because they have to go visit somebody. Right. And, uh, and so we buy pieces like this and pay them, um, some, cash money so that they can buy whatever they need to buy. And so it's a good energy exchange, but there is a lot of work that goes into this kind of piece. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's so lovely. It is, isn't it? It's uh, yellow, yellowish gold, blues, pinks, 
in the five point star. Yeah. So that is the second place winner. The second place winner. This is good stuff. I get to share some of my culture with you guys at the same time. At the same time. And it, you know, either male or female could wear that um, medallion. And I know, you know, people say that you shouldn't wear black because, right? <clears throat> but I think that would look a really nice with a black shirt. Mm, yeah, it would. It would. Mm -hmm. Or either that or, yeah, a darker, maybe a dark blue, something like that. All right. Now we're going we're gonna to go on to the next question. Let me get this started. Hey, Mary Ellen just popped in. Hello, Mary Ellen. Good to have you here. We're uh, going to go on to the next question. And I got to check, make sure we get enough time here. Oh, good. All right. We got about 20 minutes or so, actually about 10 by the time it's all said and done. Because <laughs> we have to add up uh, the points. So the next question. <clears throat> next question is, true or false? Did Julie Hedges and Neshi Lokotz co-host a monthly show together? True or false? Did Julie Hedges and Neshi Lokotz co-host a monthly show together? <laughs> ah, Julie, let's see. Um, 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 um. Yep, Rob comes in with yes. And then he goes true because he realized, oh, I got to take true, not just yes. That, and you're absolutely right, right, Rob. And Julie also came in with a yes, but Rob rung in first. And that is true. The show that we did together was called um, The World Tree, Gathering at the World Tree. And um, it was so much fun to do that show together. Um, and maybe one day we'll resurrect it and uh, do it again. Um, it's just that I had uh, I had stuff going on in my personal life and did, needed to pare down some things, and so and that was one of the shows I was doing at the time. I think nine, eight or nine shows a month, and that was a lot. <laughs> so something had to give, and so uh, we'll we'll uh, maybe one day we'll bring it back. You never know. And Tina, you're, she came in with True as well. Yeah, good one, you guys. And Cynthia Newholy's here. Hello, Cynthia. Good to have you here. Rob was thinking about the medallion. Johnny Cash wore, wore black. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Um, did I miss anything else? Nope, I didn't. Good. Next question. Who has become known as Star Nation's elders? Who has become known as Star Nation's elders? We're going to need names. Name the names. Who has become known as Star Nation's elders? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're coming in. Here we go, here's the first one, Julie. Julie Shumway Hill says, Connie, that's absolutely right. Dr. says, or true. That's true. That's true, that's true. And here is the answer, let's go, oops. The back one. Here we go. Here are our, the names of our elders here at Star Nations. Orton Franklin, Carl Franklin, Constance Shearwater, and Jan Beaver. Those are our elders here at Star Nations. And Jan, Jan, Jan um, is a contributing writer. She writes for us quarterly. She's Ojibwa um, Anishinaabek from, um, well, she's from Canada. Uh, Sue St. Marie, if I remember right. And of course, Connie. Connie is with us. She uh, does the live stream show. And she also is um, starting a premiere article is in the January edition uh, issue. Um, she will be a contributing writer. 
for us. And her first article is in the January issue coming out on January 10th. Um, Carl and Orchun, um, they, their show is the uh, Mystery School, the last Thursday of every month at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. And they are both hosts for a live stream show and also contributing writers. And so to be able to have um, elders as part of the Star Nation's uh, family and team is a blessing because we have all of that wisdom, all of that wisdom right here. Thank you, Grace. You're welcome. And Cynthia says, uh, thank you, enjoying your show. Good, I'm so glad, Cynthia. Rob says, nice to you, and Connie. <laughs> well, you were, <laughs> you were half right. You were half right. And so, um, Julie, Julie, you're gonna get a point for that question. And um, <laughs> Tina says, the only one I know is Neshi. Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of funny, isn't it, Tina, that I've never really considered myself an elder. I don't know. I don't, because maybe it's because we have uh, the elders here and how much life experience they have. Um, I, I sit and I listen. And then when, when they take a breath, I ask a question. <laughs> Uh, Tina says uh, that she's okay. Got that one. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. I'm going to have to rethink that one, I think. And it's a different perspective. Check the time here. Okay. We have time for a couple more. Next question What is the name of the spirit that Polly Jo channels during her live stream show, Soul Connection? What is the name of the spirit that Polly Jo channels during her live stream show, Soul Connections? Mm -hmm. You might have to give a couple of hints on that one. We'll see. I'm going to wait to see how, who, who comes in with an answer. Rob says, old oh, man. No. Sorry. <laughs> Good guess, though. Good guess. No. Um, this is this is a, a a term that she refers to him by, and um, he normally shows up during the healing meditation. What is the name of the spirit that Polly Joe channels? during her live stream show, Soul Connections. And let me tell you, when Je Polly Jo was here um, this past October, teaching the um, mystical energy healing class, um, we were standing out on the deck before the class started on that Saturday. And I happened to have my phone. And many times what I do is I'll go out there in the morning and I will uh, listen and sing to, um, it's a Lakota song, it's the morning song because the, the, the deck faces east, right? And so I did that and so um, I'm singing, they're listening and all of a sudden she starts channeling this being who is singing a very similar song in his own language. And it was, it, it's something I'll never forget, that's for sure. And so Stephanie says, if you caught today's replay of chakra sessions, the spirit made himself known. Oh, that's right, because she was, that uh, replay was talking about releasing grief. And, uh, and he always comes in to assist. What is, the, what is the name of the spirit that Polly Jo channels during her live stream show, Soul Connections? And think of another good hint. Hmm. I had one, but nope, it would be a different word and we don't want to confuse you guys. <laughs> Good guess, Rob. Fred. 
<laughs> no, it's not my brother. I have a brother named Fred. No, it's not him. <laughs> no. It, it's a um, it's a term that we we actually use quite often here on Star Nations. Um, and it's in it's in our tagline. So if you if you look at our, our tagline, the word is in the tagline. Tina says, Francis, oh, sorry. Cynthia, Jeremiah, Jeremy comes to mind for some reason. Well, I don't know, but it's that's not it. <laughs> Lamont. No, Rob, it's not Lamont either. And Tina's saying, hint, yeah, we just gave you one. And Rob got it, ancient one. <laughs> Yay, Rob. I think it was, a, it, the word is in our tagline. <laughs> that's true. That's absolutely right, Rob. It's called the ancient one. And he speaks a very ancient language. It's not a modern day language of even indigenous it's not so good one Rob good one it's a full point the ancient one Connie have you ever heard um, when Polly Joe is, is channeling that being yes I have mm -hmm. I have I tell you what the first time I heard him um, it went right his voice that sound that language went right to my heart chakra. Yeah, it's powerful. Yes, and um, it was that feeling of recognition, um, a memory, you know, coming. Yeah, yeah. Good guess, Tina. Star. Good guess. But no, it's the ancient one. And Rob, Rob got a full point for that. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. So we're gonna do another question. I like this. This is so much fun. All right, so <clears throat> on the Paul Krauss show, what is the name of the psychiatric nurse that has been his guest on several occasions? <clears throat> on the Paul Krauss show, what is the name of the psychiatric nurse that has been on have been his guest on several occasions? And let me tell you, when they're on together, I think she's been on his show Ooh, many times, at least six, maybe eight times. And they have this chemistry that is really good. <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob comes in with Francis, and you're right. Francis Robbins is her name. And she is a psychiatric nurse. Um, she has also um, lived outside the country many times. Uh, for great lengths of times, and so she's also an expat, um, and uh, she she also has an online support group, I believe. Yeah, good one, Rob. Rob, I got to ask you, how did you remember that? Because that is one of the, um, I think, the more you really have to watch the shows in order to to get that um, that she's and she's been on quite often. Yeah, good one. Yay for Rob. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, those two, they when when they're on together, there's a certain chemistry that they have. They've been friends for years, um, <clears throat> and uh, I think right now um, Francis is in um, their Oregon home because they're originally from the state of Oregon, I believe. I think she, on the last time I saw her, she mentioned that she was in Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. And Rob is saying Paul's show is right before Julie's. Oh, so you so you you watch Paul's show because you you pick up Julie's show. Okay, that's good. Thank you for sharing that, Rob. And that is on the third Monday. The third Monday, Paul's show is on at 8 p.m. Eastern, and Julie's show, The Turo Journey, is on at 9 p.m. Eastern. So they're back to back. And it's so much fun. The last time. Um, I was Paul's guest, which was last this past month, December. Um, I was his guest, and I had promised that I would help Julie with her show. <laughs> I was, so I produced Julie's show, and I, I didn't produce. I was helping her keep track 
of the winners because she was doing giveaways. And so it was like uh, running down the, the cyber hallway to get to both shows. Thank you for that, Rob. Done good. Next question. True or false? Is astrology Julie Hedge's first ancient language? True or false? Is astrology Julie Hedge's first ancient language? And she said this this actually in one of her, her early, early shows. One of her early shows. And Rob comes in with true, which is the correct answer. Um, she actually says that that astrology is her first ancient language and the tarot is her second. Yeah, I remember her saying that. Yeah. Thank you for that, Rob. Good one. Um, and she, when we, when we first started um, Julie's show, The Tarot Journey, um, we had uh, we already had an astrologer on board, and we didn't we didn't have that many um, show hosts at the time, and so we didn't want that kind of overlap, and so um, we offered Julie that if she could do her second language, which is the tarot, um, that she that would really be helpful for us, and so that's when she came up with the title with her name the the title of her show, and then um, our astrologer decided to leave because she had other things and she was moving. So she, she left on uh, the, the magazine and I was talking to Julie one day and um, was telling her about that and need, the need to find another astrologer. And so she offered um, to do both the astrology and the tarot and to be able to combine the two so that when people read her article, they actually see how the two languages kind of dovetail and, and come together. And it's she doesn't, really doesn't she know? Doesn't she know? She does Julie, you know? Julie said false, but sorry, Julie, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm going to do one more question and then we're going to. Um, Let's see, I need to also show you oh, no. the third place, the third place prize is um, a print copy of the January issue 2019 Star Nations magazine. So um, whoever wins the third place is going to get the first print copy of 2019. Hmm. 19. And it's going to take a little bit to send to you, though. Because um, once we publish and I order the uh, the print copy, it takes about 10 to 14 days for it to arrive. So you won't get it right away, but we'll get it ordered for you. Okay. All right. So we're going to do one more question. In what country does Mervyn Kelly live? In what country does Mervyn Kelly live? And Mervyn Kelly is live stream show host to from Star to Stone show. It's from Star to Stone. And his show is on, on the second Tuesday of every month at 9 a.m. Eastern. 9 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. And Rob comes in with the correct answer. England. England. Um, he actually lives on the east side um, along the the ocean coast. Um, he does take some really fantastic pictures of um, sunrises um, on the on that eastern side. Whoops, I don't know why here. He's going to give it a solo, so we get that on camera. So correct, Rob. He's from England. That's why he comes in as with that druid energy because he's a modern day druid. And Julie, Julie, that would have been like a half a credit for you because the UK is really kind of big, isn't it? Um, and so we're going to give the full credit to Rob. But you would have, you know, if Rob would have put it in the UK and you would have, we would have split the difference. <laughs> you guys would have done that. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I hope you guys found um, 
Star Nation's trivia fun, because I certainly did. And what a, what a nice way to be able to bring in, to end 2018 and to bring in 2019, um, then to hang out together and have some fun, uh, Star Nation's community. And Connie, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Oh, well, it was great. I, I, I wanted to get in yesterday, but I just had too many things going on. And, and But I was here, but just things were going on. Oh, and sure. uh, so, yeah, and so I was able to listen and uh, and watch and then I'd say, oh, I know, or somebody got the answer right, and, yay, you know, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, and then today um, I just got off the phone with my daughter in Michigan and uh, yeah, and so I said, oh, the show's going to start. So I had to kind of throw myself together. But anyway, we're here we are. This oh. has been great. I've loved every one of the shows. I've seen them all three, and I thought, oh, what a fun, fun. <laughs> and, it, and just to hear, you know, when people think of uh, answers, and even if they take a stab at it, you know, and they really don't know, and they come up with the right answer, it's just like, yay! <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know even with the guesses. I know. It, it was great. Right. And it was great that Minnie was able to be with you in your first show. That was, yeah, that was great. You know, Minnie and I, we, we have been friends for, it's got to be 15, 16 years, something like that. And we've actually played trivia together. And so oh, wow. we do Star Nations trivia. And afterwards she goes, darn, if we could only play, could you imagine how much fun that would be? And I said, yeah, but it's so unfair because, you know, there's no way I would be able to play. Because it'd be so unfair. Yeah, because you know the answers. <laughs> and I didn't. You know, even I couldn't answer. I couldn't answer a lot of the questions. You know, I thought, oh yeah, that I know that. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> One of the questions that was asked yesterday of who the you guys called the Wizard of Oz. Was oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I, I knew who that was. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I was kind of surprised that many more people didn't know, didn't know her. Well, um, trying to, it's, it, it's been a while, you know, it's been a while. Yeah, so it'd have to be somebody like you know that's been around a long time. And you had new people, didn't you, on those shows? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had a lot of new people. Okay, and um. All right. So I'm so glad that we that uh, uh, Stephanie and I had numbers that agreed because when it comes to math and not, not many people know this, but Connie is a professional <laughs> accountant. Oh, yeah. Well, I, uh, in my day, well, I still am doing it. But yeah. so next year, next year, the next time we play trivia, um, we'll we'll bring you on as the official scorekeeper. Oh, okay. You know, they, you know how they do that on like the Academy Awards or something like that, and they bring yeah. the, <laughs> they bring the, uh, yeah. the official accountants on 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 the stage to to bring. Oh, yeah, them. yeah. We'll do that next time. We'll do yeah. that. Next time. All right. So I am um, taking some notes here. So round three, round three, first place winner is Rob Kendall. Rob Kendall, first place winner. And so, Rob, you have the protection bell from Thailand. All right. So this will be yours. I will be sending it to you. Um, and if you need help on where to hang it, because I, I think you live in a rental, right, um, an apartment. And so if you need some help in placement, you know, just let me know, and we can give you a hand with that. Um, so please PM me your postal address. And we'll get the uh, the bell sent out to you. Okay. Congratulations, Rob. You did a good job. Now, <laughs> you know, there's a Rob, Rob has been a longtime listener. Um, he has listened to a lot of the live stream shows. Um, he also does a lot of sharing of the shows. There was a time when um, I don't know if you still do this or not, Rob. You probably I don't know if you do or not, but he would share it out to different groups, even so. Thank you so much, Rob, for all your support and, and being there for us. We appreciate it. And to be here to play the trivia, it's fun. <laughs> Second place winner is Julie Shumway Hill with four points. Rob had seven. Um, Julie had four. And uh, so, Julie, you have 
Who won another medallion? She won the, uh, the I think another one yesterday. No, the choker, the choker that my mom made. So this is this will be sent to you, okay? And um, enjoy it. Enjoy it. We'll get that out in the mail to you. I already have your address, and so we'll get both of them out to you. Congratulations, and thank you so much, Julie. Julie is uh, um, is also somebody who watches a lot of the live stream shows. Um, she does have a um, subscription to the digital subscription to the magazine, and so. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Um, and Julie, Julie has something here. She says, beautiful, you and Stephanie did a great job with the trivia. Well, thank you, Julie. Yeah, so Stephanie much. did an awesome job. Yeah. You really yeah. did. Um, we, had, um, we have a third place, although um, she didn't get any answers right. It's just that I want to make sure that the magazine, the magazine is actually given to somebody. And so, um, do, randomly check the number and Tina wore bonnet Tina Tina you're going to have the first um, print magazine for 2019 January issue um, mailed to you okay and so if you could PM me your postal address I will get the January 2019 issue 68 um, mailed out to you um, it'll come directly from our partners at Meg Cloud um, dot com. They do the print on demand. They also do PDF and uh, web viewer versions for us as well. So make sure you PM me, okay, Tina? And Tina, Tina is, um, she comes to as many of the live stream shows as she possibly can. Um, and she's usually in the afternoon with me in the daily live stream uh, when we do the, the card draw and we talk, we, we have a spiritual conversation about that. So thank you, Tina, for your support. We appreciate it. And uh, just uh, let me know, okay, your your mailing address. Yay. Cynthia saying, yay, Tina. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it because it's uh, this, this, the January issue has some new things in it. And um, uh, Connie's first article, for one thing, in Spiritual <laughs> Mysteries of Life. Um, but we also have the first time we're going to, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we have the, uh, the first crossword puzzle coming out and it's all about star nations so the first i gotta do the i gotta do the coding the the program for it it'll be the first one if it works <laughs> uh, let's see there, so there's going to be some new things coming out in that that first issue of january 2019 so well connie um it's at the top of the hour, and I want to wish you Happy New Year, and thank you for being here with us. Oh, well, thank you so much. I just i am glad I could be here. I enjoyed it so much, and I was glad to, you know, connect with everybody and, you know, see. It's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm going to put you down in the lobby if you can hang out just for a second, though, okay? Okay, I sure will. All right. Well, wasn't that fun? Um, I so enjoyed the trivia. Um, I enjoyed the process that we that we took to create it. Uh, it was a very creative process. And I want to thank Stephanie again and Serenos for all of their efforts and time and energy put into it. Um, couldn't have done it without you guys. And so I really appreciate it. And I appreciate our audience, um, our community, and all the support that you give us here at Star Nations. Um, there's some things that will be coming up um, that you'll want to know about. And that is, hmm, we're doing another free mini class um, at the Star Nations Academy Facebook closed group on the second Thursday. So that's coming up next week. Um, it depends on Polly Joe. Polly Joe is going to be doing um, a mini class for us. It's an hour and it's about empaths and just very, very basic information about um, empaths and your chakras, okay? Um, but she um, she's actually been kind of ill. And so it depends on, on um, what her stamina is like to be able to do another show in the evening on that Thursday night. If she's not available, we'll get together and uh, we'll talk about impasse. Okay, then um, it's still going to happen. I just don't know who the actual teacher is going to be yet. It's either going to be me or, or Polly Joe. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that's coming up next week, Thursday. 
Um, we have all the shows that have been kind of on um, holiday hiatus. Um, we'll be back um, live streaming next week. So you will have, um, it's the second Tuesday of the month. And so we'll have From Start of Stone with Mervyn Kelly at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, the 8th. And then it's Polly Joe um, with, with Chakra Sessions at noon. And then you'll have my show, which is a weekly show, uh, Communications from Home. And we'll be talking about the January issue of the magazine for that show. Um, and then on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern is Polly Joe's show, Soul Connections, on Wednesday night. Okay. And, um, and then we'll do the, the free mini class at the Academy Facebook Closed Group on Thursday night. So that's it, you guys. It's going to be a busy week next week. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your holiday, New Year Day, Tuesday. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, Wednesday night, with Polly Joe. Chakra session, I mean, sorry, mm -mm, Soul Connections live tomorrow night, okay? All right. Enjoy, and um, Happy New Year. Bama Mina, that's Padawadami for Until We See Each Other Again. Love you guys.